with you. Um, a lot of zone today. Mm -hmm. You guys like, I mean, did you like how it worked and do you like playing zone just naturally? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, especially with Jesse, a legend in the zone. Um, you know, we're able to kind of mix our defense a little bit and especially with our game plan, they average about six threes a game and we'll, you know, if they hit 20, you know, kudos to them, so. Jesse, you obviously it's a defense you're used to, but you haven't played quite as much this year. But what, what do you think of and how'd you guys perform? I mean, we executed it really well. Uh, like like Ray said, I've been playing it for a while, so I know most of the stuff around it. But uh, yeah, we did a really good job with it today, uh, and I think it, it was a big reason why uh, we uh, you know uh, played or got really good stops, uh, a couple in a row, multiple in a row. Uh, on them, and um, yeah, that together with the great rebounding uh, intensity, it was, yeah, it was fun, <coughs> fun time. <coughs> Quinn, so slightly different off that question. They took a ton of threes, and against the zone, that's going to come. But you always have to say, if they're going to make them, they're going to make them. They didn't make enough tonight. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes, you know, in the Big Twelve, like the competition is high, so you're going to have to live with some things, um, and that's what we decided to live with. And then going off of what Jesse said, you know, the hardest thing to do in the zone is rebound out of it because you don't have a man. And um, what helps with that is, like, us being vocal. So guys were stepping up and just – it's hard It's hard being vocal for the whole game because it's very tiring. But um, we were able to do that and find mans um, to box out. And we held them to one possession. And this is a team that rebounds like the living crap out of the ball. You know, they're all athletes and – all super long. Um, so I'm just really proud of my team and, you know, kind of how we rebounded because that was something that, you know, you got to give up if, when you play the zone. Diallo didn't play a lot for them tonight. How much did that affect what you all did, both offensively and then defensively as well? Yeah, the our kind of game plan with the zone is, like, you got to have a playmaker in that middle. Um, it's kind of, you know, sometimes you think, like, oh, the Division one basketball players, they're comfortable there, but it's hard. you got two guards behind you jabbing at the ball, and you got to be able to make a read. And Jesse being so long and playing both, um, they can, they couldn't play him uh, down in that position, I think, because he does great things other than playmaking. But, yeah, we were going to live with that. So they went a little smaller, which I think helped with our rebound. So it just kind of went hand in hand. You see them right down, down there. They, they got really phys physical with you guys. Tonight, uh, they tried that again. I, I mean, Ray and... You bounced off the floor more times than, you know, uh, Ali. Uh, but what was, what was it like out there? What, what, what do you do when a team's doing that? And um, You just stay poised for real, for like, you don't let them get in your head at all, you know, as much as they're hitting and grabbing on you. Um, really just stay in the course and don't let them knock you off your trail. Um, that's kind of what I did today. You know, I wasn't, you know, trying to talk back to them, you know, if they tried to get in my head like last <coughs> game. Um, especially with the refs too, you know the refs did the, uh, did a good job tonight. So you know it's just staying poised with the refs and the opposing team throughout the whole game. Yeah, same really. Um, yeah, and kudos to the refs for keeping this game you know, um, really civil, like nobody nobody got into no fights or nothing like that. So uh, that's <laughs> always <laughs> feel like right, yeah. Nah, but it, it's 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 a physical team, you know. We knew that coming in, especially after last game. So we 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 uh, expected it, and uh, I think we did a good job with it. Uh, for all three of you guys, and I'm kind of interested, you guys at other parts of your career have played at big <laughs> schools, big conferences before. But for all three, this is your first trip into the, the Big 12. And now that you guys have gotten a good taste of it now, what's it been like? Has it been what you expected? Has it been harder? Has it been a different style of play? Just what will you remember from your first time in, in the Big 12 play? It's wild. Wild. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. It's very aggressive. Very aggressive. So, yeah. nah, I'm not going to say that. Well, just, uh, just having the teams this year, I mean, every time we turn a Big 12 game on, it's 10 versus 12, 4 versus 6. Yeah, that's the main thing, I think. And, like, just a lot of crazy good teams in this league. Yeah, it's, it's, a yeah lot. It's, it's every conference I played in. I thought the ACC was, you know, talented. But, I mean, this blows everything out of the water, just playing in the game. It's, it's not even close. But, you know, we're here competing and get a, get a win like this. It just you know, shows that we got something going. The style of play, is it? especially maybe even defensively, is it more of a physical lead than the Pac-12 or ACC or? Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, the Pac-12. No disrespect. Pac-12 is not this physical. <laughs> right, right. right. <coughs> but, For sure. But, uh, I mean, like, the, the, the better teams in the ACC are also very physical teams. But it's just, the, like, like gives that the amount of good teams in this yeah. league is just so. It's the amount. It's, it's, just, it's, it's crazy. Kind of like, it's crazy. Week after week, you're playing some of the best teams in the country, so. 
Um, there's different, you know, teams like BYU is not the most physical team in the world, but they're in their own right, you know, top 15, top 20 program. So you have to adapt every week, and it's 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 a lot of fun, but it's, it's hard, man. Like it's it's a hard league. So yeah, to kind of follow that up, has it been? <laughs> Fun or in the back of your mind, like, oh man, I should have gone to the SEC or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's it's been a roller coaster from the start. Yeah. It's I been mean, a roller coaster, but we're so happy to be here. Yeah. Like, obviously, you know the situation we're in with our record and where we are in March. I mean, you can obviously say whatever you want, but I think everyone sitting here and everyone in the locker room is you know, happy we chose here. And like I said, every time we go on a road trip, it just we, I appreciate my fans, our fans, like so much more. Like we're going to go play a team who's 12th in the country at their place, and there's like 2,000 people in the stands. And, like, I say it every time I try because I'm just, we're just so thankful to have the support um, that we have, and it just makes it playing here a lot more enjoyable and just a lot more fun. What is the difference? Obviously, it's tougher to play on the road in any conference, especially against this high-level competition, but to have, like, the previous result against UCF, then turn around and do this against the same team but being at home, what do you think has is the difference – Besides just obviously easier home versus away, whether it be calls from the refs, whether it be style of play, whether it be easier to get up for games, whether it be having to deal with more adversity on the road, you guys articulate that for fans? I think it's just being consistent <coughs> of what like, we do as a team. You know what I mean? If we're not consistent and we john at each other the whole game or somebody breaks off a play two or three times in a row, you know, it's going to be you know confusing throughout the entire game. and. Especially we playing somewhere else where they got their fans, they screaming at us, their players are screaming at us. It's it's a whole, you know, it's chaotic. It gets chaotic at some points. But it's just staying mentally tough and, you know, trusting each other. If you don't do that, you'll get blown out by 20. The three of you guys played an awful lot of basketball games uh, combined and individually and any, any other way you want to slice it. You just lost four games in a row. What is it, What is the difference tonight after a basketball game as compared to when you're losing, I mean, uh, you love your life. It's tough losing. <laughs> it's tough losing. Like it's, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Like, um, we like we come together and we try and we bust our ass like every single game. You know, whether a fan has a certain opinion about a way a certain kid plays, but I mean, we try and we win. Like as much as you guys want us to win, I mean, we won it ten times more. And I know the fans are so great, but. Like, the league is so hard, and, and to go back to your question, it's like there's so many things that you have to be ready to play every night. Like he said, you're going to go play BYU team that shoots the crap out of the three, and then you may go play at TCU that just pounded down low and then pick up full court. I think with the ACC, a lot of the teams are kind of similar. Um, Pac-12, a lot of the West Coast teams are kind of play the similar way. But, like, the, the Big 12 is, like, every single type of basketball – into into one, so you're playing like a completely different whole identity pretty much every single game, which I think is hard. And you know, when you play a team a second time, it's really when you try to get on them and pounce on them. Quinn, on that same note, though, Saturday you guys had one of your better offensive games, and then you obviously didn't win. And then, how different is it when you are able to have that similar type of performance on offense, but actually get a win? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's hard to it's hard to look at the good things. Um, when you lose four in a row, um, to, to try to find like things we can work on and things we can build on. Um, our staff has just done a great job of trying to motivate us and keep us locked in um, for these last few games to, to really see if we can make something happen in the tournament. Um, like Ray and I, we always talk about what we had to do at our mid-major schools in the conference tournament, and it's where you need to be playing your best ball. I mean, I've seen magic happen all the time, so we're just, we're just going to keep on staying the track. Rick, one like Bob was saying, the last time you guys played at UCF it was a very frustrating game for you. That was kind of in, you know, if you look at it at a roller coaster, that was kind of the down part for you. You're kind of on the upswing now again. Are you feeling feeling that, or yeah. just uh, you're talking about being on the upswing? I feel like I put a, a lot of unnecessary <clears throat> weight on my shoulders the first few games. You know, especially after Kansas, it was so fun. You know, we we're all on our high horse at that time. Um, and, you know, once I went to uh, UCF, they kind of just punched me in my face, yeah. literally, you know, <laughs> literally. Um, but, you know, that, that's a lesson learned. You know, I just turned it around, especially after Texas, like a game like that. We went down to Texas and got blown out the water. Um, that was when I was like, all right, I just need to relax and play the game I've always been playing my whole life. You know what I mean? And stop overthinking. Huh? Easy to do that? 
Uh, at times, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at times. I mean, when when you lose on your know, four game losing streak, like I, I love the fans <laughs> that all show out, you know, night in and night out, regardless of our record. You know, what I mean, because a lot of people talk down on us, but you know that also motivates us seeing people in that building tonight. So. Well, this has nothing to do with the game tonight, but were you surprised uh, at Patino's uh, outburst uh, at St. No, not a little bit. It's so funny. It's, I mean, that was like one of the nicest I've ever seen him, quite frankly. And, I mean, going back on that, I mean, I loved playing for him. It's just one thing about him is he knows who he is. And, like, you can't bat a guy down for that. He, a guy hates losing. So, you know, I've heard him tell me some, like, the craziest things that I've ever heard come out of someone's mouth. And you got to understand why he's doing it. Um, I've called a couple kids from the team and just heard stories because it's kind of stuff. It's it's so unfortunate when you're in that locker room, but hearing it from the outside it's kind of funny. But uh, one example of the crazy things he said to you. I don't want to get in trouble, but <laughs> he told me he was gonna. Yeah, he's a good interview. interview right? I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. It was kind of out of love. Um, I won't tell anybody. I didn't box out. I, I show them the video all the time. I didn't box out, and this was in practice. And he goes, uh, he looks at me. <laughs> I don't know if I can say this. He said, he will, out of love, he said he will chop me up in seven pieces and send me back to Detroit <laughs> or Houston or wherever the bleep I'm from. And okay, I'm mean, going to just sit there and laugh. He's like, like, are you laughing at me? And I'm like, no, I, I don't know. I'm wrong. He knows it's just a game. It's just who he is. It's just kind of the way he talks. He doesn't mean it. Just, he likes to win. Hey, Ray and Jesse, I got one for you guys. So, Jesse, I mean, you played the first part of the season without Raekwon, and then yeah. obviously when Raekwon comes back, he's playing without you. Now that you yeah. guys are playing together, you, you know how teams defended you when you guys were <coughs> without each other. What are teams doing? Is there any? Are they defending you guys any differently now that you guys are playing together? Is there any difference there at all? Or? I guess there's definitely like less of a focus on either one of the players on the team right now because you know we got all our pieces we wanted yeah. and then we can you know play from there and nobody can really like just hone down on uh one of us you know at all so that makes it a little easier to run your offense you know and uh, especially when we get good speed on the, on the fast breaks like we did today it's 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 the way we want to play you know so it's it's a lot more fun to, to be on the court with everybody out there for sure yeah thank you guys thanks guys